Hello everyone, this is my 1993 Toyota pickup. We are doing a updated walk around on this truck here. If you guys haven't seen my previous walk around when I first bought the truck, make sure you guys check that out. Not much of a big difference since from that day to today, but I have done a few things. So we're just gonna go ahead and talk about everything that I've done to it as of today. So if anybody's watching that might be new to the channel, they can see what this truck's been through. <coughs> um, it's a 93 SR5 sunroof <laughs> X-Cab um, 5 speed transmission with the 3.03 VZE. It's actually really, really pretty, but it's been kind of dirty, so um, the paint shot looks dirty. <coughs> it's been raining the last couple weeks here in Alaska. <coughs> but let me just give you guys a quick walk around and then we'll go ahead and discuss uh, modifications and things I've done to it and things you guys might have questions about but yeah look at that it's so pretty so dirty though <laughs> <coughs> the color on this truck is called a forest green <laughs> I looked it up on the paint code and it's a forest green color that's what they call it <laughs> so this is the SR5 93 sunroof 3.0 we are on 33 inch by 10.5 15 BFG KO2's all terrains <laughs> with the stock um, SR5 wheels I like them the way they are the front did come with the ADD hubs, and then we went ahead and swapped them out with the locking hub, the ASIN locking hub. <laughs> as far as lift on this truck, the lift was sponsored by Black Yoda Eric. If you guys know, if you guys know Eric, he's off road with us <coughs> many a times, and um, he recently just did a solid axle swap on his truck, so he gave me his lift, and the lift that we have. Is 1.5 inch ball joint spacers up front with no torsion crank just the spacers <coughs> and then on the rear we have AAL AAL stands for added leaf so it's basically one little leaf springs that you add in there so right now <coughs> it has like roughly I don't know a two inch lift you want to call it so that's tires, that's lift and tire setup. Um, the front, we don't have anything going on the front yet. Maybe we'll do a front bumper in the future. <coughs> also got some LED lights. Those are also sponsored by Black Yoda. <coughs> and then I used to have a really nice rear bumper, but then I sold that. And <coughs> I have a new trail gear two bumper on order and I also just installed these trail gear sliders <laughs> these are 78 inch um, universal trail gear slider these <coughs> require you to weld them on so these guys are welded directly to the frame <laughs> you can see how they look like I ended up painting the sliders <laughs> with Rust-Oleum um, truck bed liner <laughs> so it has a really nice texture feel to it. Windows are tinted. So we have tinted windows, and we have all electronic powers, <coughs> power windows, power locks, power mirror adjuster, and uh, Oh, I also just redid my clutch. So I did a complete clutch overhaul, <laughs> put new clutch, um, new rear main seal, flywheel, and throw up bearing the whole nine yard. This is what it looks like. <laughs> if you guys are ever wondering what my inside looks like, <laughs> I have my camera, my GoPro, <laughs> and then my phone. <laughs> and then that little thing up there is the TPMS tire pressure monitor. <laughs> it's out of batteries, so I gotta replace the batteries. These are SR5 seats, so this more, it's a bit more sporty. And also, I have a sunroof, and I have the sunroof cover. When I bought the truck, it didn't have it, 
but a gentleman in town had it available so I bought it from him I also just recently installed the flow master 40 muffler I got that for free and then I installed it on my forerunner <coughs> the one that I crash so before I sold the forerunner I chopped that off and kept it and then got that installed about almost a week ago we'll get under the truck here and show you guys what it looks like <coughs> so that's what it looks like <coughs> just the muffler and you guys can't really see it but the AALs are right there the added leaf are right there that one leaf right be un right on top of the um, overload <coughs> that's what it is I also have a breather too for the rear axle <coughs> besides that guys um, you know just your basic tune-up you know make sure you do a full tune-up <coughs> when you get your truck um, <coughs> change your fluids and stuff like that and other than that it's a really great truck <clears throat> this is what I usually carry in the back I always I always whenever I'm on a long road trip I always sleep in my car so I usually have this blanket here just to keep me warm and stuff and then also you guys notice this big white thing here <coughs> I just picked up this topper um, last week a couple days ago but yeah this is a really nice topper <coughs> it fits just perfectly and it has the locks so all the locks works um, the struts didn't work no more when I bought it <coughs> so all the struts was worn out but um, I replaced them it's only 26 bucks for both of them <laughs> so these are the struts <coughs> the gas struts <laughs> so they were burnt out and <coughs> the guy didn't have any clamps for it so <coughs> bought four of these clamps they're like five bucks a piece so some people like topper some people don't like topper I'm a little bit of both um, I've owned my first Toyota pickup it came with the topper and one thing I like about it is that I can carry a lot of stuff I can lock it up and it can stay dry I live in Alaska so I need it to stay dry from the rain or from the snow during the some winter time but <coughs> for now I like it and um, I usually carry my tools with me <coughs> that orange bag right there is like my bag that has like extra clothing a sleeping bag um, I always have water in my car you always have drinking water in your car um, it's just a general rule for me because I travel so much and then <coughs> over there I have spare parts like tie rods um, coolant, a spare a coolant fluid, um, gear fluid, and motor oil. So I always carry spare stuff. And then there's ratchet straps and stuff like that, tie downs just for our stuff. But so far, <coughs> um, that's what I have. <coughs> the other thing you guys don't see right now is my bag <laughs> that has all my off road recovery gear. <coughs> I don't have that right now because I'm not really doing any off roading. So I took that out. So this is the topper. <coughs> um, if it gets sunny in the next couple days or week, I might go ahead and just do a little quick um, cheap dry weight paint it. I might just go get some paint <coughs> and try to get it as close as possible to match my truck. Not super picky, but at least as, as long as it's not white, at least it's something a little bit more similar to my truck. <sighs> and really, I don't have too much to talk about. Let me go ahead and pop the hood here. Alright guys, so this is the engine. Three point oh about two hundred and eighty thousand miles. And pretty stock, done a food tune up on it. And I done an EGR delete. And that's pretty much about it, right? Really. Um new spark plugs, new oil. Uh, new OEM Toyota filter. It's probably dirty by now. And then this boot here. <coughs> and then this boot here was starting to get worn out, so I went and ordered one on Amazon. <coughs> replaced that. I also replaced it my 
clutch slay cylinder over here. And I've also removed in my intake. I removed this piece and cleaned it out. I had another one, so I cleaned that out. And that's pretty much it. I also done the, uh, when I removed that intake, I also redid my valve cover gaskets. So I don't have any oil leak no more. So no more oil leak up in the front. <laughs> redone my oil gaskets and also one of my passenger headers. Um, one of the bolts was stripped off so it wasn't holding the EGR cover plates. So I replaced that header with a new one. So now it's completely sealed with all new exhaust gaskets and stuff. So it runs really good right now. I want to go ahead and do a timing belt overhaul. Um, either this winter or either next spring. So we'll see how that goes. I want to do a new time belt and water pump. When I bought this vehicle, <coughs> there was a sticker on the on the hood. It was a maintenance sticker. And it said that the vehicle got its timing belt replaced um, at this mile. And the next scheduled date will be 233,000 miles. So right now I'm at 231,000 miles. So that interval was like 60 or 70,000 miles that I noticed. So, <coughs> so far it's good. And I'm pretty sure it will last, but um, since I don't know the actual full record, I wanna just get it done and know for sure that it's been redone. And I just wanna tinker around with it, man. I, I haven't messed with the 3.0 engine lately, so I wanna really tinker around and learn, it, learn about it. The 22RE, I've done timing belts on it, so timing chain on it, so I know all about that. <coughs> but I would like to know my vehicle more. And the, more, the way to learn about how to do things on your vehicle is just to fix it up, man. Tune it up and give it a fix. So this is the 22, no, uh, so this is the 93 <coughs> Toyota pickup SR5. Really, really beautiful truck. And figure I'd do this quick update walk around again. It's been almost a couple months since I've done an update video. But if you guys have any questions, any comments, let me know in the comment section below. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. helpful. And uh, just let me know if you guys got any questions. And also you can follow the Instagram page, nuttydo underscore 4x4. I do post up stories of stuff that I do on it. Um, photos and if we ever do any adventures or off-road trip, there's always stories of the actual live dates. So yeah, check that out too, guys. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'll catch you guys next time. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.